Today I want to show you how to use SketchUp to use components to make something that we can actually build out of our one centimeter by one centimeter jinx wood. Before we start we need to make sure our woodworking template is in millimeters and we will of course have to do the conversion by a factor of 10 to use centimeters. The first thing we want to do is make our original rectangular piece of wood. So let's go ahead and we're going to click and let go. I'm going to move my mouse and so we know that one centimeter is 10 millimeters. So I'm going to do 10 and let's make this 100 millimeters long just to start. So 10 comma 100. We'll hit enter. We use the zoom extants button to zoom in on our shape and we'll zoom out a little bit. P for push pull. Click and let go and I'm going to move my mouse up. You can see in the bottom right corner it says currently 11. I want 10 millimeters. Hit 10 and hit enter. I now have a 10 centimeter long piece of jinx wood. This will be our base piece that we will use for the rest of the shape. We're going to hit space bar and I'm going to select my block and it should all turn blue. Another way to do this is if I triple click. So click, click, click and you highlight all of the shape that is attached. So I'm going to hit G and I will call this my template and I'll hit create. Now what I can do is I can copy this to make uh, the four pieces which will be the base for my uh, little demonstration car that I'm going to make. So let's control C and control V. I'll just put that down here. Now let's say I actually want my car to be 10 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Well, I need to make this piece bigger. So I'm going to hit space bar. I'm going to double click and that gets me inside my component. I'm going to hit P for push pull and I'm going to click at the end. Notice what happens when I do this. I'm going to click and let go and I'm going to move my mouse and you'll see that the other side is moving at the same time. This is because these are copies of each other. They're identical. So we need to do something first before we can move forward. So let's hit escape. Or, sorry, escape doesn't work from here. Uh, space bar and click out. So I need to right click on this and I need to say make unique. Now when I double click and I go push pull, I can click on the end and you'll see that the other one doesn't move. So now these are two unique components. So let's go ahead and make this 20. So currently it is 10 or 100 millimeters long or 10 centimeters. So I need to add another 100 millimeters. Hit enter. There we go. So I have that piece. So I'm going to click spacebar and click out. Click here on this one and you notice it's highlighted differently. Control copy, control paste. I'll put those ones just a little bit apart so I can use them in a few minutes. Now I'm going to hit spacebar and I'm going to select my original one again. Control copy, control paste. And remember I have to make this unique. So I'm going to right click, make unique. Now I can turn this 90 degrees and you'll see the degrees in the bottom. It says 180. So it depends where you start clicking and where you stop. But we did move it just 90 degrees. So there's where we started negative 90 and we went all the way to negative 180 which is the same as positive 180 in SketchUp. So I can just click there or I hit 180. Um, and I already made this unique so I can now copy this and paste this. So I'm going to paste this down here. So what I can do now is I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to snap my components together. So I have to orbit around, find the corner, snap the corners together just like we did in our grade 6 project where we did it with one meter cubes. Again I grab the corner, space bar, hit M for move, click and move the corner, snap them together. Remember to click and release. Space bar, select our last block, hit M, snap it over, click and let go, move my mouse and snap them together. So there we go, we've got our basic frame set up. Um, we want to make some gussets so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tape measure tool T and I'm just going to go from this edge and let's say it's about three centimeters so that's 30 millimeters 
And we have to do that from both edges. Actually, we can just do it from the one edge. When I realized I made a mistake there, I hit Escape. You can use Escape in the top left corner of your keyboard to get out um, as long as you're using the click, let go, move your mouse method. This, In this case, I'm not actually pushing my finger right now. I can hit Escape and I get out. If I click, hold my mouse, and then let go, it sets it down, and I have to use Control z to get out of there. So let's do a tape measure from here, going this way. There's a little bug in the program. I'm going to hit Escape. I have to go to Rectangle and then back to Tape Measure, and now it will give me my line. So I'm going to hit 30 again, hit Enter. Now I can use the Line Tool, L, and I can draw a line from here to here, and then fill in the line to make a triangle. And that should fill in. There, so it is filled in. What I want to do is I want to triple click on this. Now see I've selected everything. I'm going to hit group and I'm going to call this a gusset. I believe it's with two T's. So now I have a gusset. I'm going to copy it and paste it and I'm going to put it down over here. I'm going to put it on that intersection and I have to rotate my shape. So we'll rotate it probably could have rotated the other way. It would have been less. There we go, 180. And I'm going to control paste and get it again. Put one there, paste, put one over here. And then again, rotate them into place. So that is 90 degrees. Space bar, select, move. That's the M key. Rotate and 90. OK, I now have the basic frame for my car. And I, you know what? It's kind of close to this one. I'm going to move it over. Normally, if I wanted to select something, I would triple click. But triple click doesn't work when you're looking for a component. So what I need to do to select these, let's erase our guideline first. Space bar, I'm going to use space bar. And then I'm going to move myself so that I can just select the part that I want. Now I can hit G. And I'm going to call this car base create. So now I have a component made of components. So what I can do is, let's say I realize that I want to actually make the wheelbase wider. So what I can do is I can double click and now I can push pull my two ends to make them a little longer. Except if I push pull now, you'll see I have a red sign. So I have to spacebar, double click, and now I can push pull. So let's add 20 millimeters. Oh, and isn't that cool? You can see the other end is going at the same time. So this is really handy of having those unique components. So let's make it 20 millimeters longer. Hit Enter. Now I'm going to hit spacebar and click out. But you can see the dotted lines. I'm still inside my car base. So let's hit this, and I'm going to hit Shift and shift so that the, I move them all at once so I don't waste my time. Hit M, and I'm going to grab this corner, and I'm going to move it down. And there, I've just made my car base larger. Space bar, and now I'm out. Now, I, I said earlier I wanted to move the whole car, so I'm just going to click here, hit M, and I'm going to move that away from my basic block just so I have some space. Notice how the line is red sometimes, Sometimes it'll be green right there. If I hold Shift while I'm moving it on that green line, it'll stay on that green line no matter where I put my mouse. If I let go of Shift, it goes over here. Similarly for the red line. There, I've lined it up on the red axis. If I hold Shift, let me just see, see it says on red axis. If I hold Shift, it will stay on that red axis. So I can put it down. And there we go. That's the basic way to use components to make a car base. Um, you could use this for any kind of structure. The key understanding here is to make sure that you have everything in a component and that any components that you're actually gluing together are um, grouped components. So you have a group of groups. Okay, I think that's it. Take care. Thank you for watching.